this video i'll discuss about the nervous system in the human body so related to the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system the function of this nervous system there to the major or the my main component of the nervous system the one is a central nervous system Uh, simply we call it as a cns and the other one is a, a peripheral nervous system uh, these are the two main components of the nervous system in the human body now i can take the first one the central nervous system so central nervous system the brain that is connected with the or the nervous system is connected with the help of a spinal cord so the central nervous system is a major part of the nervous system it includes the brain and the spinal cord see here if you observe this is considered as a central nervous system so these things we call considered as a central nervous system so it is connect the brain with the spinal cord it serves as the command center for the entire body it receives process the sensory information initiate motor responses so and is responsible for coordinating and controlling numerous physiological and cognitive functions without unknowingly we can carry a certain functions okay simultaneous functions are uh, we will deliver uh, with the help of a central nervous system while the spinal cord act as a relay center it helps to uh, receive or give the signals transmitting the information between the brain and the peripheral nervous systems see the some key features of this uh, central nervous systems we can summarize the brain the brain is the central processing units like in the case of computer cpu you observe the same one the brain in the central processing unit is the cns that is a central nervous system it is responsible for higher cognitive function sensory processing motor control memory emotions and certain consequences it is protected by the skull and it is divided into the regions like a cerebrum cerebellum uh, brain stem etc and the each parts play a different specific functions that i already discussed this uh it is it helps for the connections the brain uh, and the spinal cord it includes the main thing brain and the spinal cord that together will considered as a central nervous system this the second part what we observe in the central nervous system is the spinal cord the spinal cord is a long cylindrical bundle of nerves that is start from brain and and uh, it will reach or to the uh, from the base of the brain down to the verba, uh, vertebral column down to the vertebral column it serves as a conduction medium for a nerve signal traveling between a brain and the rest of the body it helps it make the connection between the brain and the rest of the body with the help of nerve and it will process by the signals then the third uh, uh, region what we observe in the central nervous system is a protect uh, protection and the support system it will protect the spinal cord as well as the the brain the components of cns are protected by various structures to ensure its safety the brain is encased with the skull same way the spinal cord is surrounded by the vertebral column there is a bony vertebral column additionally the cns is further protected by a membranes called menex and other fluids act as a cushion so these are the major part we observed under cns and the main functions of cns is integration and processing see it act as a cpu that means the cns is resembles with the cpu so the cns integrates and process the sensory information that is received from various part of the body and it co coordinates motor response initiating some voluntary movements it will immediately it will give response some voluntary movements and controlling even involuntary functions 
So this is a major function we observed under CNS. And even higher cognitive functions, the responsible for complex cognitive processing, decision making, uh, and even uh, learning, memory, language, problem solving. These are all uh, carried out or the uh, done in a uh, CNS. Then uh, homeostasis. His CNS regulates and maintain internal balance within the body through the process called homeostasis. Uh, it controls bodily functions such as a heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, respiration, hormone production, and in, uh, and ensures optimal physiological conditions. So the central nervous system works in conjugation with a peripheral nervous system. They go side by. Even then, second, the next part, what we observe, uh, the main component of brain is a peripheral nervous system. See, the central nervous system, you already know, uh, that is a major, it consists of a skull and uh, the other, uh, like uh, spinal cord. The remaining area that is covered with the peripheral nervous system. So these are all things like uh, what we observed here, this only this part is a central nervous system and the remaining nerves what we observe is a uh, peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that extends from the extends from the CNS to the rest of the body. It is the connection between the central nervous system to the rest of the body. It consists of nerves, ganglia, ganglia uh, clusters of nerve cell bodies, sensory receptors. Uh, the uh, peripheral nervous system play a vital role in the transmitting information between CNS and the various organs, tissues and cells throughout the bodies. So, if he experiences some in certain region or the part of the body pain, it will send the message to the uh, central peripheral nervous system, usually send message to the central nervous system. The uh, peripheral nervous system usually divided into somatic nervous system and the automatic nervous system. The somatic nervous system controls voluntary movements. It's usually controlled voluntary movements, whereas the involuntary functions such as heart rate, digestion, respirations, they are all controlled by a automatic nervous system. See here, what we observed is a peripheral nervous system and there was a pink what we observed is a, a brain with the spinal cord is a central nervous system. It is interconnected with the peripheral nervous system. See, the somatic system is responsible for transmitting sensory information as well as controlling voluntary movements. The system contains two major neurons. The one is a motor neurons. So, the PNS carries motor signals from the CNS to the muscle as well as to the glands. They are responsible for voluntary as well as involuntary movement and controlling bodily functions. Like, see here the brain with the central nervous system along with we may observe some peripheral nervous system. See, if you show any object, if you want to pick that object, so that nervous system uh, inform, information is sent by that uh, nervous system and the action will takes place, a voluntary action scan uh, takes place, motor neurons that takes. These motor neurons allows us to take a physical action in response to stimuli in the environment. What we observe based on that, we can do some physical action. Then a sensory receptor. So the sensory receptor, the uh, peripheral nervous system are located in the skin, muscle, joints, organ and other tissues. They gather information from external environment and the internal body condition and uh, these receptors sense like touch, uh, temperature increase or decrease, pain, pressure, positions, etc. They transmit sensory signal to the central nervous system for processing and interpretations. Then, the second type of uh, peripheral nervous system is a autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system uh, is a subdivision of the uh, peripheral nervous system. It is the subdivision of the peripheral nervous 
system it is responsible for uh, regulating involuntary bodily function usually almost all involuntary bodily functions are done by autonomic nervous system whereas uh, uh, somatic nervous system uh, system usually carries a voluntary movement so autonomic nervous system controls involuntary functions whereas somatic nervous system controls voluntary movements so this autonomic nervous system is a subdivision of the uh, peripheral nervous system uh, it uh, controls or regulates the involuntary body function like heart rate blood pressure respiration etc so they is further divided into sympathetic nervous system or a sympathetic system it regulates the flight or fight response the sympathetic system prepare the body to expand energy to respond to the environmental threat when action is needed the sympathetic system triggers a response by accelerating heart rate increasing breathing rates boosting blood flow to the muscles activating sweat secretions like so they will unknowingly will act our body whereas parasympathetic uh, system helps maintain a normal body function once it increases body temperature or decreases they will maintain the normal body function and conserve the physical resources like once threat has passed the system will slow the heart rate slow breathing rate reduces blood flow etc so this allows the body to return to the normal stage or a resting stage so we observe both sympathetic as well as a parasympathetic uh, action or the system so some of the sympathetic and the parasympathetic actions uh, that is done in our body uh, uh, here it will shows now the is about uh, the brief things about the nervous systems human nervous system that is a central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system